stopping for lunch. This is uh, the Shoe Swap Lake. Uh, how do you like the view? Do you like the view through the barbed wire or above? Through or above? Let's show you above. There's the Shoe Swap Lake. There's Shoe Swap Lakes. I should know since I'm telling you. And uh, the road follows the lake here for a while. Then we'll go down to uh, Salmon Arm. Here, I'll show you what I got for lunch. This is a... Uh, this is my lunch to make it super easy for me. Whoops, wrong zipper. Here are these zippers here. Here's lunch. Look at that, a loaf of bread squashed in. Do you like that? A squashed loaf of bread? I learned that. I'm just gonna have some slices of bread, as is. And uh, that's what I do. Um, saves me from using a knife and peanut butter and all that. I'll tell you from my last trip across Canada, peanut, bu peanut butter sandwiches, they get kind of, when they're in the bike cooler bag all day, the peanut butter turns kind of like a dark brown color. Uh, anyway, I, I don't really like them that way. I don't know what happens to the peanut butter, but they're just not that appetizing. And uh, bananas are even worse. A banana just looks at a bike bag and starts to bruise. Oh my gosh, they do not last long in a bike bag at all. As, as gingerly as you put them in. Anyway, I learned this trick of squashed bread off uh, David Letterman years ago. Some guy came on the show and said, can I eat? Uh, I'll bet you I, I can eat uh, a whole loaf of bread. Anyway, he squashed a loaf of bread down into the size of a softball. I'm like, I didn't know you could squash bread like that. So that's my little tip <laughs> for glamorous eating on the road. This isn't glamping. This isn't even glamping. This is clamping, like the clampets from the Beverly Hillbillies. This is clamping at its best. The finest clamping you could ever find. Squished slices of bread for lunch. Wow. <laughs> the things you do for love. I'm doing this because I love it. Anyway, I'm closing in on Salmon Arm. There's some rain. Here, I'll show you the, the highway here. The sun's just come out a bit. It was uh, raining a little bit. You can see the spray from the trucks. That's what uh, I get in my face. And uh, anyway, it's all fun. As long as there's a wide shoulder, I'm happy. It's, uh, and it's a lot better than biking with spray and rain in like March when it's cold, like two degrees, three degrees biking. That's not fun at all. This is a lot easier. Warm and wet is a lot different than cold and wet. Anyway, my news for so far today, and uh, talk to you later.